Hello friends, welcome to your advanced vinyasa yoga class. This is gonna be a really fun class today and it's gonna be exploratory, we're gonna play. So we're gonna breathe into and we're gonna explore a few different peak poses as well as balancing postures as well. So we'll get a little edgy, we'll definitely be challenged, but we're gonna do the whole thing with a sense of ease, a sense of sweetness. We're gonna bring it in today and be really intentional. So I'm Kate, I'm your teacher for today. If you like this class, and please give it a little love, thumbs up, and if you wanna see more, of course, subscribe. But when you're ready, let's roll out our mats and get started. All right, my friends, we are going to begin. This class has fewer cues since we're familiar with the poses and the vinyasas. So we're just gonna jump right into it and get started standing at the top of our mat in mountain pose. So, sure footed here, feet under shoulders, long through the spine, long through the neck, head reaching up, close down the eyes, immediately tap into your long, slow breathing, drop in. Three big breaths here. Nice. Starting to incorporate some movement. Inhale, arms up. And exhale through cactus arms. A little bit of a back bend. Glutes engage, so inhale up, exhale through cactus. Waking up the shoulders, feels good. Inhale up, last one, exhale through cactus. Inhale, arms up, right hand grabs left, left wrist, exhale over to the right. Inhale through center, exhale over to the left, spike through that right heel. Inhale through center, exhale over to the right, spike through the left heel, maybe even spiral open your chest, look under your arm. Inhale through center, and exhale over to the left. Nice, inhale, reach up, and exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Take a bend in your knees here, release the hamstrings. Play around in it, explore. Find what feels good for you. And then inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, plank, knees on or off the mat, of course. Lower all the way down. We'll come into oscillating cobra. So zip up the legs, glutes are on, hands on fingertips outside the mat. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Spike in your pelvis and your toes a lot. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. With your breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Nice. Press up to your push up, your plank, back to downward dog. Pasta banda with the hands, pata banda with the feet. Uddiyana banda, that core lock. So everything's pulling up and in. And find your play here. Whatever feels good in your downward dog. We'll take two sun salutations. Just warm up the body and link our breath. So inhale, step to the top. Stay in the exhale. Inhale, half rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, all the way standing, reach up. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back. Take any form of vinyasa. Shine the chest forward. 
exhale, down dog. One more just like that. Walk up, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it in, hip bones rise. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. This one's different. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. So toes together, heels slightly apart, broad with the chest, sink deep. We're gonna warm it up. We're gonna be here for a few breaths. So weight in your heels. Bring in the ujjayi. And we'll take some rows, we'll take 10 all together. But exhale, row to the right. Hands come behind you, inhale, center. Exhale, row to the left, inhale, center. For three, four, five. See how low you can go, maybe you touch the ground. Six, seven, eight, nine, Nice. And fold it over. Nice little hamstring warm up there. Step or jump back. Take your flow. Meet in downward dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Bend at the knee, big circles. Forward and then back. Knee to nose on the exhale, gem, step it forward. Knee meets mat, on tuck toe. Engage the core, inhale, crescent. Excuse me, Anjaneyasana. On your exhale, sink your hips forward and down. On your inhale, reach the arms up and back. Kali Mudra with the hands. Turning it into a little bit of a back bend. Exhale through cactus arms. We're gonna find some waves here. So on your inhale, reach forward, reach up, reach back. Exhale through cactus. We're gonna take two more just like that. Inhale, reach forward, up, back. Exhale, cactus. Last one. Inhale, forward, up, back. Exhale through cactus. Try with no hands. Straighten your front leg, shift back to half splits, arms come behind you. We're gonna take a few rotations. Inhale, rebend, arms come up, hips sink. Exhale, straighten leg, half splits, arms behind you. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, half splits. This one's different. Inhale, rebend. With the back toe untucked, inhale, rise. Big foot stretch. Exhale, lower. You can tuck the toe if you need it. Two more times. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Lower, tuck back toe, inhale to crescent. We're staying here just a moment. Exhale, lightning crescent, lots of weight in our front foot. And then push off into standing splits. Really squeeze the glutes here. We're gonna take pulses at the top. Point your top toe. Take pulses for five, four, three, two, one. Left foot meets right foot. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, root to rise, nice. Exhale, heart center. Take a moment, press your thumbs into your heart. Heart beating, breath, that prana, feeling alive, let's go. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, vinyasa. 
Lean downward. Inhale, left leg up. Bend at the knee. Big circles forward. And back. Exhale, knee to nose, make space gently. Step through, back knee comes down, untuck toe. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. On your exhale, hips go forward and down. On your inhale, reach your arms up and back. And then exhale through cactus. Nice. Inhale, reach forward, up and back. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, forward, up, back. Exhale, through cactus. Once more, forward, up, back. Exhale, cactus. Straight spine, and on your exhale, engage the core, straight in front leg. Shift back, half splits, arms behind you. We'll take some rotations here. Inhale, Anjane, re-bend. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, Anjane. Exhale, half splits. One more rotation. Inhale, Anjane. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, Anjane. This one's different. With the back toe untucked, try it. Press into your front foot and your back foot. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Tuck the back toe. Inhale, traditional crescent. Exhale, lightning crescent, so lots of weight in our left foot. And inhale, standing splits. Left leg comes up, squeeze the glute. Reach your foot up, point the foot, and we'll take pulses for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, slowly step it down. Uttanasana, take it wide. And take a little fold. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, heart center. One full breath here. A little smile comes to the face, perhaps. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, walk or step back to plank. And chaturanga. Up dog, push back to down dog, beautiful. From down dog, ripple up to a high plank, spinal wave. Shift onto the nice edge of your right foot, plank on the right. Option to raise the left foot into the air, maybe come through tree pose, and then st slowly step your left foot back behind you, move into wild thing. Back bend, heart opener. Maybe your left hand finds your neck, really open through, squeeze the glutes, and then big transition here. This is a fun one, try it. Inhale through side plank, Come through tree pose. Gently step left foot to the top of the mat. Nice. Inhale through warrior two. Just for a moment. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Take a bind if it's in your practice. Spiral your chest open. Two breaths here. Slowly unbind. Inhale, warrior two. Big switch with the hips on your inhale, crescent. 
Exhale, lightning crescent. Weight in your left foot here, setting up for warrior three. Find your dristi, inhale, warrior three. Four breaths here, and then we're adding on. Find your strength. Gentle with the eyes, gentle with the face. Inhale, stand up, bring that right leg into your chest. We're not done yet. Dancing Shiva, uh, peace fingers to big toe. Leg can be bent or straight. Right arm opens up behind you. Maybe you shift your gaze nice and slow. Moving super slow here, release Dancing Shiva. Come back through Warrior Three. Bend through that left leg, touch down so sweetly. Woo. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hands meet mat, vinyasa. Woo! Love that one. Powerful. <sighs> Inhale, ripple up to plank. Come to the knife's edge of the left foot. Plank on the left. Bring up your right foot. Gently bend. Step behind and peel open into wild thing. Heart opener. Maybe your right arm comes behind your head. Nice. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale. Through tree pose, plank. Exhale. Step the right foot up. Inhale. Warrior two. Strong bodies. We got it. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Take the bind. If it's in your practice, spiral the chest open. Slowly unbind. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, switch of the hips, crescent pose. Exhale, lightning crescent, lots of weight in your right leg. Setting up for warrior three. Find your dristi, float into warrior three. Core on, glutes on, soft face. Breathe. Inhale, slowly stand up, bring the left knee into your chest. Right peace fingers to big toe. Dancing Shiva, leg can be bent or straight here. Option to open up with your left arm and switch your glance, move slow. Nice, gently release. Send it back to warrior three, nice and controlled. When you're in warrior three, Bend through the right leg, touch down sweetly. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, flow it out. Nice. We'll do it one more time each side. So inhale, right leg up. And exhale, set it down because we're actually not doing that. Inhale, roll up to plank. Come to the knife's edge of the right foot. Lift the left leg, bend, wild thing. Open it up, squeeze the glutes. See if you can point your left hand towards the ground. Coming through tree, side plank. Step left foot up sweetly. Inhale, warrior two, peel it right open. And then right away, reverse. Exhale, extend. Take the bind, we'll be here two breaths. Unbind, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, crescent. <clears throat> Actually, that was inhale, crescent. Exhale, lightning, we're just flowing with it, folks. Inhale, warrior three. Nice and strong, core is on. 
Inhale, come up to standing, bring the knee into your chest. Flirt with it this time. Doesn't matter if you fall out. <sighs> Dancing Shiva. Let a smile come to your face. Feel your body working, powerful. Let go, release the leg. Come through warrior three with control. Touch down into crescent. And then exhale, take your vinyasa, powerful. Nice. Ripple the plank. Come to the left side of your knife edge of your foot, plank on the left. Lift up your right leg, bend. Gently touch down behind you and open, wild thing. Free, open heart, shine it forward, squeeze the glutes. Come through tree plank and then step your right foot forward. Peel open warrior two right away. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, extend it, find the bind, you have time. Unbind, inhale to warrior two. Stay for the exhale, inhale to crescent. Exhale, lightning crescent, arms come behind you, weight in the front foot, float into warrior three. We know where we're going, so engage the muscles. Find the dristi, focus point with the eyes. And then inhale, slowly stand up, bring the knee to your chest. Right piece, fingers grab left foot. Open up, dancing Shiva. We always have the strength in us, this power in us. We just need to focus it. Release, warrior three. Gently bend the right leg, touch down. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, vinyasa, yes. Nice. Inhale, step left foot up in between. We're just shifting right into Prasarita. So you can come through star, pivot the toes inward, and exhale, Prasarita. Wide legged forward fold. I'm gonna give you the option for a headstand here, so feel free to shift your feet back. And just play around in Prasarita or if headstands in your practice. Then find your variation slowly. If you're inverted, long, slow breaths. Core is engaged, glutes are engaged. And slowly. Slowly, start to come down if you are in your headstand or handstand. And find Prasarita again. Shift all 10 toes towards the front of the mat, coming into lizard pose. Your left leg is in front. Floating lizard, so your back foot is tucked. Find some forward back movement. Option to stay here, come on the forearms or open up. Maybe untuck the toe if that suits you. Or if you have it in your practice, you can waggle your foot forward and come into full splits. Yogi's choice, make this your posture. Listen, listen to your body. Start to walk your foot back if you are in splits. Come back into lizard. And we're gonna find a fun transition where we put the back foot down as if in warrior two, coming through skindasana, and then pop your toes up, always externally rotating to get that nice thigh stretch. Skindasana to the right. Skindasana to the left. 
Try to keep your back long. You don't need to go uh, any length down. You can be up here, but keep your uh, pelvic floor engaged. Skandasana to the right. Skandasana, left. One more time and we'll settle over here. Skandasana to the right. Come into lizard pose. So walk your right foot out. Find a rocking motion. Maybe you come to forearms here. Maybe you open up. Find your challenge today. Maybe you move into splits. Sides will be different. That's fine, accept, surrender, no love on it. Breathe into it. There's no judgment. A few more breaths. Walk your foot back. We're gonna pivot Skandasana one more time to the front of our mat. Step our right foot up to meet our, or not to meet our left foot, but to come into Malasana Yogi Squat. So usually toes on, off the mat, heels on the mat, or whatever variation suits you. Here, just find a long spine, really opening through the hips. And find your movement here too, side to side, up and down. Maybe you butterfly your elbows. And we'll take a twist. So left arm comes down, inhale, right arm up. Maybe you turn it into a bind, internally rotate your left arm, internally rotate your right arm. Clasp hands behind, chest open. Smile on the face. Enjoy your mobility, a challenge. Slowly unbind, come to center, reset. Maybe come out, maybe sink in, it's totally fine. And then right arm comes down, left arm comes up. Maybe you take the bind. Beautiful. Opening through the chest, through the hips. And then slowly come out, find center. We're gonna have the option to go into crow pose, so I usually have to come out and lost my just a little bit. And we'll do some drills and crow, so play with it if you don't have crow. Play. And if you're in crow, flex your right foot and tap your toes to your wrist. Ooh. Flex your left toes, tap to your wrist. <laughs> Maybe you pause and play with that or practice it after class. That's a fun one. Let's step back with our left foot forward, step our right foot back. We're gonna waggle from this lizard into pigeon. So heel toe, your left foot over. Let's try to keep our shin parallel with the front of our mat. Just a deeper stretch, something to work towards too. I'm gonna take an active pigeon today, so I'm staying upright. My glutes engaged, my whole back leg is engaged, and my back chain, the muscles along my spine are active. I'm actively shining my chest forward, and my shoulders down my back. Press hands in a mat. We'll come through downward dog set up for pigeon on the right. Nice. 
And again, take whatever variation suits you, but I offer for you to stay upright, active. Everything touching the floor is turned on. Maybe you even float your hands. And from here, see if you can move from here into double pigeon. I'm going to try to do it with no hands. I haven't done that before, but we're here to play and we're here to explore. So taking your back foot up, placing it over your right leg, both shins parallel to the front of the mat and just sink in double pigeon. Nice, ujjayi breath, bring it in, slow it down. Inhale up, feet flat on the floor. Take a moment, we're gonna roll all the way down to our back with control for five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna hit a little bit of core because core is super important for all those balancing poses that we just did. So we're gonna strengthen ourselves. Yogi straight leg bicycles. Starting with right leg up, left leg straight, left elbow to right knee. We're moving with our breath. So exhale, switch. Inhale, switch for 20, 19, 18, 17. Really try to get your shoulders off the ground. 16, 15, low back on the ground. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're not done. Blast it out for five, four, three, two, one. Both legs out, hold. Low back on the ground for five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Core is lit up and engaged. Beautiful. Take a moment, stretch your legs long, stretch your arms long, stretch your core muscles out, stretch like taffy, and then inhale, left leg up. Just a nice gentle supine extension. Grab wherever is comfortable for you, so maybe that's a strap under your arch of your foot, your calf, calf or your hamstring. And then bend your leg in and extend. Take a few like that. Bend in, extend, bend in, extend. Give a couple pulses into a deeper range of motion. Option to take a supine compass where you would grab your foot or your ankle and your arm behind your head and come into a compass. That would be like standing, but we're laying on our back. Nice shoulder opener here. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, left leg down. Same thing on the right. So stretch it forward, little pulses. And we'll bend, extend, bend. Extend, bend, extend. It pulses into a little deeper range of motion. And if you tried it on the other side, maybe you take supine compass on this side to waggle your arm behind your shoulder as much as possible. Oof. And then open up. Oof. 
Lift left leg up. We're gonna set up for happy baby. So peace fingers to big toes or hands outside of feet. Find your movement, find your stillness here. You know what you need. Trust your intuition, trust your body. Sometimes it only tells you things in whispers. And sometimes it screams. <laughs> There's an art to even starting to listen to our body as well. So if you're not quite sure, then just having the intention of what is my body telling me? That's perfect for right now. Nice. And once you're done playing around and happy baby, exhale your right foot down with control. Left foot down. Let your feet fall open naturally. Take up space here. Arms come wide. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Let your hips be heavy, shoulders heavy. Relax the space behind your eyes. Relax the jaw. Gratitude for your mental strength for going into challenging postures or trying them. And gratitude for your physical mobility. Any mobility you have right now is a blessing. One hand on your navel, left hand on your heart. Namaste, sweet friends. Stay in Shavasana as long as you would like.